Evolution is a pretty cool concept, right? I think so. Right now, we're seeing some crazy animal combinations that we never knew about happening in the wild and some even crazier species being created by science. In today's video, we're talking about the 10 most unique hybrid animals that actually exist. Stay tuned because these are strange. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Zorino. Okay, I have to admit that for like two seconds, I thought this could be real. But then I checked myself and I realized that this was scientifically impossible. Have you seen a rhino compared to a zebra? Sure, they might both meet by a watering hole in Africa, but there's no way they're getting jiggy. A white rhinoceros is 13 feet tall and 5,000 pounds. A zebra is 5 feet tall and weighs between 770 and 990 pounds. It just isn't happening. I guess scientists could artificially inseminate a rhino, but I don't think it would carry to term, let alone grow up to look like this. Although, as we know it by now, anything is possible with Photoshop. I think this one had better stay in the imagination. Zorse. Some people say zebroid, others say zorse. Either way, I think they're all kind of cute. Unlike the Zerino, these are actually real. A zorse is a cross between a single color horse and a zebra. They were first bred in the 1800s and were noted in Charles Darwin's 1959 book, Origin of the Species. There's a beautiful example of a zorse in Safari Land, Stuckenbrock in Germany, an African safari themed zoo. Their zorse is called Eccles and is a cross between a white stallion horse and a zebra mare. Look at those markings. At first, I thought it was photoshopped, but it turns out this is 100% real. As cute as a zorse may look, they can be unpredictable. Zebras, as we know, originate from Africa and are wild animals. Horses are generally domesticated, but the wild traits of the zebras come through in a zorse, meaning they are very difficult to train. Savannah Cat these cats are beautiful, but I would be too scared to own one. Why? Well, it's already said that cats are secretly plotting to kill their owners, and the only reason they don't do it is because we're just a little bit too big for them. So meet the world's biggest breed of cat, the Savannah Cat. These kittens are a cross between domestic cats and large-eared wild African cats. The result is pretty remarkable. But again, I'm not sure I can deal with a wild African cat in my home. The first Savannah cat was bred in 1986, and since then they've become an official breed of cat. The felines are distinguished by their spotted coats and big ears, hooded eyes, cheetah tear-shaped markings, and long killer teeth. Okay, so I made that last part up. But have you ever been bitten by a normal cat? It hurts! Imagine being bitten by one of these. To be fair, Savannah cat owners say that they are actually very sweet and loyal, although it's also said that they have a scary hiss. Would you own a half-wild cat? <laughs> Pizzly Bear A fearsome bear from your worst nightmares created as a result of climate change. Yikes. It's thought that polar bears began breeding with grizzly bears as they were forced south as warmer climates ruined their arctic habitats. Polar bears tend to live out on the ice, but as it starts to melt, they may have been forced to find food on land, which is where they met grizzlies. I mean, is this a love story for the ages or what? Um, well, for the bears maybe, but as us humans, we should be concerned and scared of this new species. Apparently, they are ferocious and have claws that you don't want to meet the pointy end of. The first pizzly bear was confirmed in 2006, and more have been documented in northern Canada ever since. <laughs> Glow-in-the-dark cats As we're now at the middle part of the list, I thought I'd tell you about something that's kind of wild. Did you know that there are real glow-in-the-dark cats out there? I actually would be down for a glow-in-the-dark cat at my home, 
That way I'll see if it tries sneaking up on me in the night. The scientific marvels were created by inserting a fluorescent jellyfish protein called GFP into the felines. While this may seem like a weird thing to do, it turns out making cats glow wasn't just for fun, it was to study the spread of cat AIDS, which I've also just discovered is a thing. It seems that making the cats glow means they can study genes easier, and researchers are first working with cats to understand the virus before applying the science to humans. The more you know, glow-in-the-dark jellyfish cats, I have officially seen it all. <laughs> Waffen. Admit it, saying Waffen is fun. Waffen. Waffen. So a Waffen is a cross between a whale and a dolphin, which is a very unlikely and extremely rare coupling. But there have been a few historic cases of it happening. In July 2018, a Waffen was spotted swimming with a pod of melonhead whales off the coast of Hawaii. It turns out it was a cross between the whale species and a rough-toothed dolphin, the first of its kind ever to be recorded. It's believed that the father was the dolphin and the mother was the whale, and now the animal is being raised as a whale. The first recorded Waffen came from Hawaii's Sea Life Park, where the animal still lives. The hybrid, named Kikumailu, was born in captivity, but the Waffen spotted in the ocean is possibly the first noted incident of whales and dolphins breeding in the wild. <laughs> Lepron. Whoa, now this is crazy. Have you ever seen something so bizarre as the Lepron? A Lepron is a cross between a lioness and a leopard. As you can see, Leprons have never been noted in the wild, although breeding is a scientific possibility. The first leprons were bred in captivity in India back in 1910, but the species sadly didn't survive for very long. Two cubs were born in Kolhapur, but one died after two and a half months. The other made it to just over two years old. The first published description of a lepron came from Reginald Enns Pollock, who examined the skin of the first cub. Leprons were again noted in Japan in 1959 and 1962, after they were bred at Koshin Hanshin Park. Biologists who examined them described them as poorly developed. Crosses between leopardesses and lions, called lepards, have also been noted, although are not quite as distinguished as the leprons. Pig monkey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A pig monkey? A monkey pig? When I first heard about pig monkey hybrids, I thought it was fake news but it turns out that they are real, and my question is, has science gone too far? I feel like this is a horror movie waiting to happen. So apparently, a stem cell lab in Beijing has added monkey cells to a pig embryo. They were then grown into actual piglets, only they weren't any normal baby pigs. They had primate cells. Sadly for the pigs, they died after a few weeks, probably because of all the genetic messing. So. Why? Why would somebody want to do this? Uh, apparently, the idea is to raise pigs stuffed with human guts in order to keep up with organ donor demands. <laughs> Hybrids of Reddit. Okay, so I had fun imagining the Zerino, so I thought before we get to number one, we could have a look at a few more fictitious hybrid animals just for fun. There's an awesome subreddit where a bunch of people have photoshopped weird animal combinations to look real, and I kind of love it. Check this out. Look at this bird boom. I think I want to own a dubbit. I don't know what this is, but it looks legit. I'm also in love with the golden receiver, and I wish giraffes were a thing. There are some people with mad photoshop skills out there. Have you guys seen any that I need to know about? If you did, link with me in the comments. <laughs> Hugh Manzi. According to sensationalist newspaper articles published in 2019, Hugh Manzi's actually existed. A Hugh Manzi is a cross between a chimp and a human, which is a terrifying and unethical prospect. Scientist Gordon Gallup claimed that a lab in Florida created a chimp-human cross. 
Speaking to The Sun Online, he claimed that a primate research center in Orange Park inseminated a female chimpanzee with human semen from an undisclosed donor and claimed not only that pregnancy occurred, but the pregnancy went full term and resulted in a live birth. Gallup also claimed that the human Z infant was euthanized by the scientists when they considered the implications of the creation. He also suggested it was possible for humans to breed with gorillas and orangutans. Gallup's wild comments aren't the first we've heard of human Zs. It was rumored that Russian scientists tried to create human chimp super soldiers in the Soviet era, but failed. It was also suggested that the Mao regime in China has also experimented with the hybrid. Recently, it's also been claimed that a Spanish scientist, Juan Carlos Espisua, created a human Z in China with the aim of creating a monkey with harvestable human organs. It's all very Planet of the Apes, isn't it? A lot of people have called out scientists for playing God in the past. If these stories weren't proven to be real, I think there would probably be an outcry. Just because you can make something using science doesn't necessarily mean that you should, right?